And breaking news, former President Trump has lost a defamation trial in New York. A jury found him liable of sexual battery and defamation from an incident before his presidency. Columnist E. Jean Carroll accused him of rape and defaming her by calling her a liar. ABC's Morgan Norwood shows us how this all played out. After more than a week of testimony and a little under three hours of deliberations, a New York City jury finding former President Donald Trump liable of battery and defamation in connection with the claims brought by columnist E. Jean Carroll. The jury finding that Trump did not rape Carroll but sexually abused her and awarded her damages of $2 million in compensatory damages and $20,000 in punitive damages for battery. The trial was a first in American history. A former president accused in open court of rape. Author E. Jean Carroll telling the jury Donald Trump raped me, and when I wrote about it, he said it didn't happen. He lied and shattered my reputation, and I'm here to try to get my life back. The former president refused to take the stand in the federal civil lawsuit in which he's accused of sexual assault and defamation. Instead, jurors watched portions of a videotaped deposition. That's Marla, yeah, that's, that's my wife. Which one, woman are you pointing to? No. Here. Carol. Oh, the person oh, okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Trump has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. Trump calling her a liar and has said Carroll is, quote, not his type. I take it the three women you've married are all your type. Yeah. Carroll's lawyer told the jury when she spoke publicly about what he had done, he defamed her. On Monday, both sides given one last chance to try and sway the jury in their favors. Trump's attorney accusing Carol of making up a rape story to sell a book. Carol never went to the police, telling the jury she was ashamed, saying she decided to tell her story now because of the Me Too movement. Trump's legal team had asked for a mistrial, which was denied. The jury, though, also awarding $1 million in damages and $1.7 million for reputation repair and $280,000 in punitive damages. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.